Um, a lot goes into it. I mean, it puts a lot of pressure on every single person in the building, whether you're our offense, defense, special teams, or coaching staff. Um, we, again, we have a rookie quarterback who's playing at an incredibly high level, but um, we have been playing from ahead for a lot of it. You know, we were 7-7 seven, seven last week versus the Commanders, um, you know, but our offense got rolling, our defense got rolling. But I think this was a good game for, I mean, uh, <clears throat> our defense didn't play their best today, and I think they'll all tell you that. Uh, we're Oh, hey, Fred. Hey, I will say Fred's effort was wonderful today. But, you know, I, for our offense to go out there and score a lot of points, um, you know, that's, I think you look back, like, Kansas City, like, our offense didn't put up, up put, did not put up enough points, and that's the reason that we didn't win that game. And for our offense to come out there and move the ball, uh, we had great screen plays. Brandon Ayuk was fantastic. We made the plays we needed to make. Our O-line played at a high level. Uh, Brock Purdy played at a high level. So, um, I think it's really good for us just to uh, go into the I feel like we should have won the game earlier, but you know we made mistakes and had some penalties in areas we shouldn't have we shouldn't have done. But um, I think it's a great win for the Niners. George, was there a part of you that was curious to see how Brock would do in that type of situation, and how was he? Brock was fantastic. I mean, um, he's going to come up here and he'll tell you that he missed a couple of throws. He did this. He did that. But you know, at the end of the day, Brock played at a high enough level for us to win. Um, he made throws he needed to make. I mean, him and Ayuk were clicking the entire fourth quarter. OT. It was fantastic, and then um, just for you know, Brock to get those reps with a ton of pressure on your shoulders and just to go right through it, that's what you want to see from him. Um, and again, like he's a guy that played a ton of college ball. He's lost big games, lost overtime games. He's won those games, and so he's just there, and he's just enjoying himself playing good football. He thinks to your touchdown. Were you the primary on that one? Goodness gracious, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Uh, I, we were in that play a couple of times on Friday for our red zone stuff. I wasn't even close. I mean, they were like, hey, you're going to distract two guys, and Ayuk's going to be wide open right behind you. And I was like, okay. And then, like, the look came out, and it was not the look that we went against. Um, and, you know, kudos to Brock for just keeping his eyes up and finding me in the back of the end zone. It's awesome. Is that one of his best attributes that you never know where the ball's going? Like, if you get open, he's going to find you regardless of where you are in the progression. He's just really good. Uh, he's got – he's fast. Uh, he has very great pocket awareness. He gets out of there, and then what he does when he's rolling out, he just keeps his eyes up. You know, he's looking for everything. I think he, like, he can see. Hey, he's not open. He's not open. Okay, who's coming from behind? And boom, and it was just a, it was a great throw by him. I got behind everybody. Super sneaky. That's what I'm good at. George, is it more fun or stressful to play in a shootout game like this? I mean, I love winning by 30 points, but I mean, check the pulse, man. It's the NFL. It's football. I mean, that's what you live for. Those moments where. You go out there in those moments that you know define your team. You want to win in every single way possible, no matter you know what the situation is. Put the pressure on. It's way more fun. Um, you love that stress because you're just going to see the guys that are in the huddle. You know, it's. I think it's it's a lot easier to, when you're up 20 points. You know, you're like, okay, we just got to take care of us. If you can play at a high level, like we're good. Like just don't turn the ball over. But when it's just going back and forth, back and forth, I mean, it, it's a it's a good time. Visions of that 2019 Saints game. Um. Sure, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm focused on 2023. Hey, we are we're undefeated in 2023. That's a good one, right? But yeah, no, I mean, just find a way to win. You know, then our defense they come up huge in overtime. I mean, I think I think it was Bosa who applied the pressure, pushed the offensive lineman into the quarterback, yeah, right. get man hell of a play. Was that you, Bosa? Maybe. <laughs> just playing, you know, defense MVP and potentially, I mean, in my opinion, still MVP. But um, I mean, just our defense is playing at a high level. They're fantastic in those close situations. When it comes down to it, you know, I'll pick our defense over any offense. Appreciate it, George. Thanks, guys. Thank you, George. Both will be next.